Hey guys and welcome back. Today we'll be installing Honeycomb. Honeycomb is a module to be added into Home System via the hacks where you can program the combs themselves to call services as you can see here. So as changing icons, backgrounds and more. I'll leave the sources in the description so you can do further reading and share what you've done. All right, so let's go through and download a couple of prerequisites. Let's go to hacks. And the first card we need is the button card. Download this if you haven't already. And next what we're gonna go is back to hacks and type in honey. And use the honeycomb menu and download this as well give it a reload and we'll go through the configuration all right next what we're going to do is grab a entity switch or something that's going to initiate the honeycomb module i'm going to create a helper by going to devices and services helpers create helper and I'm going to make a button give it a name and I'm going to give it a icon of a house and click create next what I'll do is go to home and to one of my dashboards and I'm gonna go edit the dashboard edit the card I'm gonna be copying this icon clicking paste next one I'll do is change the style to move it down Move this one up. And we're going to change the entity. Alright, let's get the name of it by going back to settings. Helpers, helper, light control, and we're going to paste it here and click on save. So now when we click on this icon, it's going to do absolutely nothing. So let's incorporate the Honeycomb module into it now. Let's move forward and let's add in our Honeycomb module into our button here. So when we click on that, it will give us further options. So let's go to edit, scroll down to the code. And this is the code we added for this button what we need to do is break everything under style as we want to keep the style next what we'll be amending is the toggle so our action will be calling a service let's press enter we're going to define the service the service we are going to be calling is the honeycomb and we can close this up and click on save 
So let's go through testing and see what happens now. So now we have the honeycomb module being called and visualizing on our dashboard. However, there is nothing currently here. So let's move forward to the next part where we can define when you click on one of these, what it's going to do. All right, so let's define some buttons for honeycomb. Let's go edit, scroll down. So under honeycomb, we're going to uh, press enter and we are going to be defining the service data. We're gonna press enter. We're gonna tab it to the right and start defining the buttons. Let's press enter and tab it one more time. We're gonna go hyphen space icon. For now, I'm just gonna leave it as null. Let's press enter and tab. And we're going to find the tab actions. We're going to go enter and tab one more time. And we're going to find when it's um, tapped, pressed, what is it going to do? So the action, I'll be calling a service. Let's press enter and define the service we are calling. So I'll be calling one of the helpers to toggle. And next we're going to be defining what service, as in what NTID, this will be toggling. Let's go enter service underscore data. Press enter, tab it in, and let's go ahead and find our entity ID. And in this scenario, I'm going to target the dining switch. Let's get rid of this T. Let's quickly go through it. So from the start, the type of the button we're defining at the start, it is a entity which is our helper when we click on this button here we are defined that we are calling a service the service we're calling is the honeycomb module within the um, honeycomb module we're defining the service data which which is the buttons it's got defining the first button button zero to have no icon currently and what we wanted to do when it is pressed so when it is tapped the action the action will be calling another service that service it is the helper toggle function in home assistant the service data is going to be tog toggling it will be toggling the entity id and in this scenario, the entity ID, it is the device dining switch. Let's click on save. And let's click on the icon. The honeycomb came up. This is number zero. There is no icon on it. And if we press it, the dining light turns on. If we click that second time, it turns off. Let's go through and find some of the icons inside our hex card. 
So here we have no icon at all, just a outline. Let's go edit all the way down. And what we're going to do is press enter and we are going to align with this icon and by specifying icon this will be targeting the next button being button number one icon and home assistant supports the native material design icons so if you specify MDI for short followed by and click save we can see we've got the MDI icon all right with the third icon we are going to be changing the color of it this can be done by going edit let's scroll down and let's add in let's add in the third icon for the example let's use the same icon and press enter tab to be in line with the icon variable we're going to go color underscore type card and we'll go enter color and let's go green click save and we've made the background green thank you for joining us on the installation and configuration of honeycomb showing how to add entities to toggle on switches changing on icons and backgrounds i'll be doing an updated video when i've got a bit more to integrate into my own home until then stay safe